healthy and the younger, and it's hot out there. <laughs> I'm just saying. <laughs> so, well, you know, the weather can be a little iffy these days. You know, it could be rainy, et cetera, this time of year, and hot, and hot. And uh, if I didn't mention it, it could be hot. So, so we ha we're having guitars at sunset, right? And you know when I'm up speaking or talking to everybody, I say, hey, whatever your praise is, let it happen. If it's sitting there quiet, let it happen. If you hear something where you want to clap your hands and pat your feet, let it happen. I am not the one to say what your praise should be, but your praise should be equivalent to your deliverance. If you've gone through a something and you're excited about it, then you should be running about. But if you haven't, then just sit there quiet and let those that have gone through and overcome a something get their praise on. Amen? Amen. So um, I must say uh, that I can say a whole lot about these guys, especially that one <laughs> and that one. Now, he's a young one in the bunch, and he was a mess. But Eric and I were pretty sane in our day. But we've been together now for a long time. Over 30, 40 years. Yeah. Oh, no, I can't say it. No, can't say it. I, first thing this one over here said to me, AD, I see you finally shaved your head. I told him, well, it, well, it was turning gray and it was turning loose. So, so, so I went ahead and did my thing, right? But this is Eric Essex. You're going to introduce everybody later on, I guess. So he's the headliner, and, along with the, uh, Brother Roland Gresham, both outstanding musicians. And I want to let Eric introduce the rest of the fellows later on. But we're going to start, of course, with having opening prayer. But before we do that, I must say, back in the day, we were some crazy basketball-playing boys. People don't believe it now because I got, you know, I got, a, I got a hurting knee on both sides, but it was real. I wish we could step back and show some of these young fellows how to do that nowadays. Yeah. We could bring it. But anyway, Pastor, if you could come forward. Uh, again, um, after the program, we're going to have a reception in the fellowship hall so that you can meet these guys, greet these guys, because there's some powerful musicians up here. Just don't think because they just stopped by to play that they didn't have anything else to do. These are professionals, Amen. right? And they came by this evening to share their gifts with us, right? So we're going to have a reception afterwards, meet and greet. Eric will have some CDs to sell as well as Roland, all right? So we'll, um, we're going to go straight through the program, no intermission. All right, when he, before he gets to his last song, we're going to take up, a, I'm telling you all this now, so we're going to take up a little offering while he's playing the last song so we can make the exit, the, a big offering, excuse me, a big offering. <laughs> We want a love offering, and I don't want to look in there and not see any love, right? So we're going to do it just like that. We're going straight through, and the last, before the last song, we'll, we'll break just for a closing prayer, and then we'll pick up an offering, and we'll, we'll um, meet up in the fellowship hall to fellowship and meet the fellas, etc. cetera. Amen? Amen? Amen. Thank you. Yeah, Brother A.D., I was just thinking when you were talking about back in the day, uh, we got some bad knees too, don't we, Ron? Uh, we used to play some ball. And uh, I'm glad to meet Brother Essex. And I know one here, Brother Roland Gresham, is my brother-in-law. And my sister is here. Jenny, stand up and wave her hand. And one day I like to call her back. That girl can blow. She can sing. She's the only one of our family that can hold her own. But we're happy to be here. We're happy for this occasion. Let us stand and bow our heads for prayer. Father, we are in your presence, and we just want to ask you for your permission to have a little fun and enjoyment and relaxation. So allow the Holy Spirit to be with us, move up and down the aisles and touch hearts like they've never been touched before. And before leaving this place, may we feel the presence of the Holy Spirit be with our instrumentalists in a very special way. In the worthy name of Jesus, let everybody say amen and amen.
Good evening. How is everybody? Good, good, good. We're going to do a song now entitled Going Up Yonder.
the glory of the Lord rise among us. I've experienced feeling the glory and the power of the Lord rising in my life. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to give you all a short testimony. I have a cousin who lives in Paris, France. I've not seen him or spoken to him in 50 years. Just recently, I reconnected with him by email. And one of my other cousins was telling me all these different things that the cousin in Paris, France was doing financially. And I had an insurance payment that was supposed to be coming in the amount of $3,000 and I didn't know when it was coming. I said, huh, I keep hearing all this stuff about my cousin. Let me just email him and just say, hey, uh, do you think you can let me borrow $3,000? And when that insurance check comes, I know we ain't seen each other in 50 years, but when the insurance check comes, I promise I'll send it to you. He says, what's your address? We haven't heard each other's voices or seen each other in 50 years. FedEx truck comes, I open the envelope, check for $3,000. And along with the check, y'all, this is the glory of the Lord, a note that said, hey, cuz, don't worry about paying this back. This is a gift. Now, that was God, because how many cousins y'all got that would do that, and you ain't seen them in 10 years? That was God. Let the glory of the Lord rise among us.
that was my last selection uh, in this set. I did want to let you know, uh, some of you were here when I came to do a concert the year that Pastor Sherrod was first installed. And I mentioned to you about a CD I was working on entitled Moments of Meditation with the hymns. Well, that one is finished. So you can look for that after the concert. All right, thank you. One more time, ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together for Roland Gresham. I'm going to make him mad and probably date both of us, but um, I don't know how many of you guys remember um, Camp Thunderbird in Chattanooga, Tennessee. Anybody remember? Oh, wow, there's got to be some folks that remember Camp Thunderbird. It's a different conference. Okay, well, then you're probably not. But anyway, Roland's dad um, is uh, one of the people who was responsible for me actually starting to play the guitar, and he taught me so much. And I saw him at Camp Thunderbird for a week, spent just watching him play the guitar. And I idolized him. He was just a, an incredible musician. A few weeks later, or a few days later, Roland came to the camp and played. I don't know how many of you know, remember Elder Moore. Um, and I think Pastor Young was at that time the, one of the pastors and directing the camp. And uh, Roland came and played, um, played bass, I think, that night, or played second guitar or something. And I said, now his dad is amazing, and now his son is amazing too. And um, I used to watch them around the conference playing guitars at churches and just idolized them both. So for me to be up here this evening playing with Roland Gresham is uh, a, a high honor for me. So I want you to put your hands together one more time for Roland Gresham. A.D. spoke a little while earlier about he and I being really, really good friends. Um, and, and we grew up in Birmingham together, playing in different groups. And one of the musicians that um, we idolized and, and whose music we played in these groups was uh, Andre Crouch. A few years ago, a couple of three years ago, I had the privilege to do a gospel CD uh, called the, This Train, The Gospel Sessions. And it's um, music that is from the tradition of gospel. I mean, we started all the way back from Sister Rosetta Tharp, and um, we had so many uh, incredible guest musicians to uh, perform on this record. We had uh, Kirk Whalum and Candy Staten and Reuben Studdard from American Idol, and uh, Kevin Whalum, um, Birmingham Sunlights, Belinda Peoples, just a ton of fabulous artists. And uh, there was one particular song that we're gonna do for you now and I'm gonna ask my good friend A.D. Johnson, if he's in the building still, there he is, uh, to come up and, and, and grace us with this song that's on the record that Kirk Whalum and Reuben Studdard did. And it's an Andre Kraut, Kraut standard. This is one called The Blood. The blood that Jesus shed for me Gives me strength from day to day. It will never, never lose. Good 
God Almighty, it's time. It soothes my doubts and calms all my fears. Ooh, and the dries away all my tears. The blood. That gives me strength from day to day. It will never, never lose. Oh, Lord, it's found. Oh, said it reaches to the heart. Oh, yes, it does. And it flows to the lowest valley. Oh, yeah. The blood that gives me strength from day. His power. I want you to know right now, you will never lose. Oh, His power. Oh, it will never, never lose. Oh, Lord, His power. His power, I said, said it's the blood of Jesus, the blood of Jesus, the blood of Jesus, the blood of Jesus, the blood. Oh, Jesus went to Calvary to save a wretch like you and me. The blood, the blood, the blood. Oh. They hung him high and they, they stretched him wide. Then he hung his head, he hung his head and died. The blood, the blood, the blood, the blood, blood, the blood, the blood, the blood, the blood, the blood, the blood is precious blood. Is Precious, precious blood, ah, oh, his precious, precious blood, the blood, oh, yeah, oh, yeah. D. Johnson, y'all. We're going to do another song for you uh, from the This Train album, Gospel Sessions. This is one called Precious Lord.
Thank you. One more song from the um, Gospel Sessions album. This is one called I Surrender All. <laughs> 